welcome to our interview with Edmund Barton. Yes, hello, I'm Jordan and this here is Natalie. Hello. And this is Edmund Barton. Yes, hello. Now, Mr. Barton. Wait, call me Edmund. Okay, Edmund, can you please tell us all about Federation and what your purpose was and how you became Australia's first Prime Minister. Yes, but first we have a few questions from our viewers. <clears throat> now this one is from Chloe in New South Wales. Hi everybody! Now, Mr Edmund Barton, could you please tell me what it takes to be Prime Minister? I would really like to be Prime Minister when I grow up. Yay! Well, it takes a lot of responsibility and you have to be very loyal and compassionate to your country and do what's right. Uh, lovely. Now our second question. <clears throat> Hi. Now, Sir Edmund Barton. You are my idol and I look up to you. Please tell me what it is like to be famous. Well, it is very fun to be famous, but then again, it is a big responsibility. Also, I am really pleased that I am your idol. Now, can you tell us a bit about, well, your whole life, really? Okay, but is it all right if I put it into a bit of a rap song? Mmm... Sure! Well, my name starts with E and it ends with D. Edmund Barton, can't you see? I roam the streets with my reputation. It's like trying to work out federation. It's like a nation trying to come a country. People get together all around. Working out differences by the minute. Phone for a rap with the queen in it. When I was 30, I had my first kid. His name was Edmund Alfred. Along came Wilfred and Jean Alice. Arnold Hubert was my fourth. Oswald was fifth. And then, of course, came Leela, Stephanie. My wife and I got married. Her name was Jane Mason Ross. Now back to the rap. I was in Sydney, 1849, 18th of January, that's in line. I died in Middle Bath, 7th of January, 1920. From a heart attack, it was deadly. I was friendly and easygoing, quite intelligent, tall and portly. I had black eyes that were sparkling and glowing. I was a judge before becoming the first Prime Minister. After resigning, I became part of the Harcourt. Now that's my life, and I'm sure of that. So, so word, word. Hello.